Hey, how's it going? In the last video, we finally found the grotto. Nice little cave over here. Nice beach view. We got moved in. It'll protect us from the rain and the sun and everything else. The one problem is there are scorpions in there. But it should be okay. We got our bed set up right by the entrance, so I think we'll be all right. Now, whenever we came in here, there was a couple things that we found. One, there was a campfire. Two, there was some stuff kind of left for us. We found the life water, water of life, whatever it's called. There was a jar of it right here. And whenever we drank it, it removed one of our status effects, the one from near death. So we're doing not too bad. We've got a buff too that removes a 25% chance of injury. Always a good thing. And then we got this map here. So on the map is two different things that we kind of needed to take a look at. One is water, and we've got that in two different places. So we're right here, that's the cave. We got water up north, however, there are wolves. We are not going that direction. Down here is another water source. There's two different directions we can kind of go to get to it because where we're ultimately heading to is right here. There's a spyglass that we need to pick up. It'll help us be able to map out the island and see stuff at a long distance. Now we could go through the mountains and the forest here. We're gonna skip that and we're gonna go along the beach. It's a little bit safer. We are gonna map it out along the way so it'll kind of unlock it this way. And maybe we'll head back this way through the through the forest and try to see how that is. But the main thing is, dude, the water. So, coming through the forest, let me show you something. I was taking a look through here. There's some stuff down here under machines. So this is the different workbenches and stuff that we need to unlock to be able to start crafting stuff. And the main thing we're missing is this right here. I didn't realize you could click on the resource and it kind of tells you the whole thing about it. So this rope, right? That's the main thing we're missing in a lot of our recipes. And it says it can be crafted from the Leonid trees that grow in some of the jungles. So we're going to try to look for that. So it's not too bad, man. That's the two things I want to do today. Well, three things. One, find our water source. Huge deal. Two, get the spyglass. And three, try to find some of that rope. If we do, ah, dude, it's going to be a game changer, man. I think we're kind of good on stuff. So we're halfway through the day now. We've got two coconuts for water. We've got a little bit of food. And it's getting towards nighttime, so let's do this. We haven't mapped out this area at all. There is a rock right over here, right over here, right over there. There's a couple things down that way we want to, want to take a look at. Let's go ahead and map it out right here. See how we don't have any of this opened up. You see, the last place we mapped is way up there. Hopefully, this will kind of connect a little bit here, but we're not up very high. Let's do some mapping, and then we'll sleep. So we're going to have a 100 range. It's going to take almost three hours. That is not very big at all. Oh, dude, that is very, very small. So we need to do one more mapping to kind of connect these here. So what we got in the area is some coconuts. And then the interesting site. That's kind of where we're built inside of the, the place there. Hmm. I was hoping it was going to be a little bit bigger range. But it's fine, man. It's fine. Nice sunset. Boy, I tell you what. We haven't got sunburn lately either, which is always a good thing. But let's go ahead and take a nap. And then as soon as it's daytime, we're going to head out. Go down that direction. There's something over there on the rock. Way back over that way. Kind of see it right there. I want to take a look at that and see... I didn't mean to throw it. And see what that is. And then we'll uh, make our way around and hopefully not get attacked by stuff. So, we do got to worry about scorpions over here. But whenever we moved our bed, it said right here it had no pests or anything. So, we might be safe. Let's sleep for... Let's go ahead and do the 10 hours, man. That'd be a very, very good sleep. That's going to take our food and water way down super low. I wonder if we should eat beforehand. Let's try that. Let's go ahead and drink beforehand. It's not going to hurt anything, right? And our axe is getting pretty low, too. we got to watch out for that. Let's craft both of these up. And then let's go ahead and eat them. And our food's decent, but let's go ahead and just eat this anyways. Are we good on everything? I think that's kind of all of our food, too, right? Wait, what was that for again? Crafting resource. It's nighttime, so we can't craft anything anyways. Alright, let's sleep. We'll do the nine hours. That'll put us right till morning time. No problems. Didn't get attacked. It's always a good thing. Let's go ahead and grab these. These are the regular ones, but we can use them for some food. Get some scrap. I think our stone's good. We got a couple with us. How's our inventory? We're pretty light on weight, so that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and eat one of these. Let's, uh, let's eat all of them. And then all we got to worry about is the water.
Oh wait, what was that? Why is that red a little bit? Oh, a stomach ache. Max water minus eight percent. Chance of worsening fourteen percent. We do got some some uh, meds on us. That is the chamomile juice. Nice, man. Nice. Ah, dude, we're good, man. We're set. Full stomach, almost full of water. Cool, let's head out before something else happens. <laughs> yeah, there's no telling, dude. Ah, uh, man, at least it is not raining. One thing on this, uh, this map so far is it's been raining quite often. It's not too bad because you don't have to worry about the sun, though, right? So we're going to go up here a little bit. Probably, I hear you. Probably not too far, and I wonder if we should go ahead and get him. Maybe we can cook it up for later. There we go. Nice, nice. A little bit of lunch. Look at that, dude. Us getting ahead of schedule and stuff. But we'll do some mapping up here along the way just so that we can kind of see what's around. It looks like it's not too much, though. It's mainly just trees and rocks and stuff. There are some crabs, though. Oh, it's a fishing spot. Dude, that's not bad at all. We need to figure out if we can build a fishing pole. Now, there was one whenever we first started. We opted to take the bag to carry more and to have... I hear you. There's one over there. And to have the axe, right? That kind of uh, kind of makes stuff a little bit easier. Let's go ahead and grab some of these green coconuts. We'll leave the other ones. All right, let's climb up on this rock. Do a little bit more mapping. I don't want to do too much of it, though, because it takes three hours each time you do that. And we are out of the radius, I think. Same thing. 100 on the range. So we got coconuts. Oh, there's tortoises. There's some of the perlovia. There's our fishing spot. Crabs, dates. Nice, nice. I do like how it unlocks that stuff on the map, man. Super nice feature. Instead of just having a map that opens up. Oh, look at that. We spent time chopping down the green coconuts. There's one right there. Grab a couple of these on the way. We might have to camp out here. I don't know, man. It all depends on how quick we can get up here. Now, that's the other thing, too, right? We don't have a map to show us where to go. So I'm guessing we'll run for a little bit, a little bit further. Not that entrance, but down here should be another place that cuts up in. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I don't have that messed up. Surely that's not it. And we'll, uh, we'll take a look for the water. <laughs> it's kind of a, uh, it's kind of a weird thing, man. At the same time, not having a, a map that kind of shows you where you're going to, right? It's kind of neat though, man. It's like the whole survival exploring thing. Is that a chicken? It's a coconut. Look. We still gotta get us a chicken. Do we got a ton of coconuts for water? Is that a structure up there? On the rocks? It's another fishing spot too. I wonder if we should map this out. We only got two of the charcoal left, don't forget. Let's go up here. We'll map up there. It looks like it's a little bit taller. And all this is sheer cliff on the side, so we definitely can't go up this way. Kind of a kind of a bad thing, man. We're kind of stuck on the beach. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is, man. Oh, there's a, uh, a map or something there. Not a map, but uh, a mural for us to look at. Let's go this way first. I want to do some mapping while we're up kind of high. And we do got some coconuts. We'll eat some of those and possibly get ready for some lunch. Nice view. Tell you what, before we go any further, we're up high. Let's do our mapping. Still only 100. Interesting. Maybe because the cliffs are behind us, we can't see very far. Oh, what's this? Special object. A snake potion. Interesting and terrifying all at the same time. Chronicles, crabs, and coconuts. Okay, okay, okay. Not too bad. We only have one piece of charcoal left, though. So, it's a piece of natives map. Yeah, we just did mapping. <laughs> Should have looked first. So, what is... Where's it at? Is it not in here? Note about the living water. We already saw that. That's the letter. Ah, oh, the maps. Wait, it doesn't show... So that's the map where we're going to. It doesn't show the one we just picked up, though. Oh, here it is. Wait, nope. That's drawing. Interesting! So it's not in our... Okay. That did absolutely nothing. Maybe that's bugged, I'm guessing. Oh, dude, do not. <laughs> Don't jump in the water, man. That's not good. That guy made it pretty far. Maybe he jumped in. 
and then got over there before he died. I don't know. I kind of want to jump off. Let's not. Let's not. We've gone so far this far without dying. Or I guess you don't die, right? You faint. And it takes away a percentage on your health. Let's check this out. Continue on our path over that way. So it should be around the corner. We've got to kind of pay attention to, to how the, the beach turns, right? What do we have here? Let's go ahead and check it out. Can we get close and check it out? When death had taken the last of the highest ones, the great hunt ended. But the families and the loved ones of the highest ones who were gifted longevity face an even worse fate than death in battle. The day after the end of the hunt, all of the gifted ones were brought to a high cliff above the deep sea on the island of the birds. That's where we're at now, I think, right? One by one, the gifted were brought to a cliff and fed the poison of a swamp frog, which immobilized them. And those who drank were thrown paralyzed to the bottom of the sea to drown. At the end of the day, there were no gifted left alive, and the bones rest at the bottom of the sea. The race of immortals were destroyed forever, and only mortals dying of disease remain on the islands. Interesting, okay. That's uh, quite a way to go there. That's the, uh, the whole progress here of what happens. <laughs> so, luckily, we don't have to deal with that. Ah, uh, dude, that sucks, man. I think that's the only things there. Snake potion. I don't see a snake potion up there, though. All that we found was part of the map, right? Which is not in our inventory, so I'm not exactly sure what's up with that. Unless it unlocked? It didn't. And there's nothing else up here, right? Not that I would drink it. I thought maybe it'd be something to collect. Hmm, interesting. All right, well, speaking of drinking, we have quite a few of the coconuts. Let's go ahead and just crack all of them open. That way we have them for later, and we will go ahead and drink some of them. Started getting evening time, man. It's time to sleep already. We need to... What do we got? 30? 71? We're going to lose one. That's fine. Let's go ahead and eat it. We need to find somewhere to sleep, man. What if we can just set out a... A bed out here? It takes so long when you do the mapping and stuff. What do we need for the bed? Well, we can do this here. Let's just do it right here by the, uh, by the ocean. Wait, not that. There we go. So, place up. Build you. Nice, nice. Let's go ahead and sleep. Let's sleep for 10 hours. That'll give us morning time. Let's do... Let's do 9 hours. That way we can run a little bit. Well, we want to be able to see. Let's sleep. We're good. Let's go ahead and disassemble. Nice, man. Nice. That was pretty simple. Not too bad. And our food and water still decent. Our food's a little bit low, but it's fine. Don't worry, buddy. <laughs> I just said my food is fine. All right, so let's progress a little bit further down the way and try to find an actual water source. What is this? Chamomile. We've already got some of that. We're good. So it looks like it opens up right here. I don't know if there's anything on the cliffs over there worth going to, but... This might be where it goes up to the water source, I hope. What is that? It's a bird's nest, okay. Looks like a weird bird nest. We are gonna take everything. Oh, dude, the bird's coming for us! Look, I just wanted to borrow them. <laughs> nice! Quite terrifying at the same time. So, let's see, let's take you. Let's... It's mine. Back up, dude. I hear you. Little badger, man. <laughs> the little Perlovia that could. Alright, so where is the bird at? Hello? Did I lose it? It's right here. Alright, so we get a trophy. I'm not worried about the trophy. Let's do the meats. We're gonna do the egg and the feather. Let's get the trophy. Might as well, dude. Might as well. We'll take it all with us. All right. So you're done. Now let's go ahead and get the stuff out of here. The main thing is the eggs and the feathers. Now we got some eggs. We probably need to eat up here soon. Just because it's going to go bad. It's kind of kind of neat, though. We know to uh, <laughs> watch out for the birds at a bird's nest next time. I mean, it's kind of, you know, yeah, you would think it. You would think it. But we didn't. It's a high rock there. I didn't want to do any mapping today, just because we spent so much time yesterday doing it. We spent six hours. It's like half the day. We can't really climb either. 
Okay, well, we'll just get up higher. I wonder... I wonder if we get up really high here, if we can map all the way down to there. You should be able to, right? It's kind of the way it works with you getting a bird's eye view. Nice little path here, if we can jump up it. The problem with going up is we have to come back down. We're out of stamina. Let's see. Let's see what the range is. 209! Okay, tell you what, we're gonna do it. And it's raining. I hear the rain. Oh, dude, that is fantastic, man. So we got almost down to the beach. So we've got the harpies. A stone deposit. Fantastic. And a bunch of the perlovias. A lot of stone deposits. I mean, you would kind of think there would be, right? We're kind of in the mountains. And we're out of mapping tools. All right, let's head down. Without breaking a leg, preferably. All right, inland we go. Wait, what was over here? Chamomile. Bamboo. Oh, so if you scroll in, there's more stuff. I did not realize that. We need to go back down there and get that stuff. Dragon fruit. Where's dragon fruit? It should be right here. I don't know what dragon fruit even looks like. Get up around this rock. Dragon fruit. Interesting. Let's take some. New items are always a good thing. What else do we have? We've got some bamboo, right? I wouldn't mind checking out that. I'm sure we can use it for something. And then the... The albergia? Whatever that's called. That's going to be up here to the right. Alright, let's go this way. There's the bamboo. I hear you. Look, Junior. I missed! There we go, there we go, nice. Snack for later. We're probably getting pretty heavy on our weight. Alright, so we got some bamboo. Let's take some of you. We are almost overweight. Alright, what do we got here we can get rid of? We got the coconuts we could eat. We got three of these dudes we need to do something with. We've got a ton of food. Oh my gosh, dude, the amount of food that we have right now. It's nuts. Maybe drop the worms? They don't weigh very much. We got a bandage. It's these guys, man. Almost five pounds total for those. I mean, the bamboo is not exactly light either. Alright, let's leave it like it is. <laughs> we're, we're looking for water, dude. We gotta have some water up here around somewhere. Let's take a right. Wait, let's zoom out. Should we go right or should we go left? Let's go right. Wait, is right over here? Getting confused. I'm reading a map and I'm still lost. It happens, dude. It happens. That's why GPS was invented. I'm just saying. Wait, is this a building? It's a rock. Thought there was an opening on the other side. I was going to say we should make a fire. Cook up some food. We can eat one of those guys. Wait, what is that? Is that thorns? We don't want to harvest it. It just sticks. That is. It's thorns. Oh, dude. I don't want to. Let's change our stuff around here. So, let's cut it down. What is hunting me? Is it another badger? Is it the birds? The birds are hunting us. We can't go put around it either. Oh, come on, dude. We're gonna take it. Take the pain! Yeah, bird nest. We are not touching the bird's nest. Is it overhang? Let's make some food. Let's make some lunch. Wait, what is that too? Is that a new resource or just some um, landscape? Landscape. Alright, let's make a campfire. We'll make a little bit of food. That'll get us some food and some weight gone. Crafting. Let's do... What is the campfires under? Machinery, right? Please you. Wrong button, it happens. There we go. Alright. Place resources. Build it. Let's light it. All we have is a tree bark. How oh, nice! First try! Alright, so we're gonna cook up quite a bit of this stuff. We do not have any crabs, do we? We don't. We've got some of these, though. 
And then we've got some of the meats. Let's go ahead and just cook everything while we can. How is our bandages? We can't do that. We can make some charcoal. Let's do... We can only do one. Alright, so is that everything that we can make? It is. Right, let's put you out. It is nighttime already, dude! Let's eat a little bit of food. Look, time goes by so fast in this. We can drop the trophy as well. That's three pounds. Let's drop it. And let's eat... A couple of these. Wait, do we have something wrong? A status? We got the flu! Stay near a fire, stay in shelter. We're near a fire, we got a runny nose as well. We don't have this, do we? We don't. Alright. We don't have anything to keep the fire going either. Let's sleep, we gotta make a bed. We might have to head back down the mountain here soon. I was hoping to find the water today. Where is... This. Alright, let's... Build you. Please do not get hurt. We'll sleep for the eight hours. Let's sleep nine. Little bit of extra sleep. Maybe it'll cure some stuff. It's raining again! Alright, so what do we have here? We've got the runny nose. The flu is gone. That's fantastic. We're kind of chilly, though. Oh, flu worsening chance. But we don't have it. All we have is runny nose. All right, speaking of food, let's get rid of a little bit more weight on that. All right, so we're good there. We've got the coconuts. Our weight's going down, which is fantastic. All right, let's leave that. Don't want to waste too much. All right, break you down. All right, I think we're good. <laughs> it's the micromanaging, dude. Here's some more stones. We don't need any of those, though. I see you. I'd prefer not to kill you. Yep, you chose violence. You chose violence! Can we just run from it? Do we have to fight it? There we go. Squirrely little things, man. At least there's a path leading up through the mountains here. So I'm not even sure if we're going the right direction. That's a that's a thing. I hope we are. Some water would be fantastic. Okay, okay, okay. We got some stuff up here. I like it. We got some little fences. We got some bamboo. We've got another Perlovia. Where are you though? Right there. Sneak attack, huh? We need to check our spear before too long. I don't want it to break. We're doing fine. We're doing fine for right now. Alright, so we got that. Is there water? Is this the right place? Oh, please tell me that's water. I hear you! It's a snake! There's two of them! Okay, there's one. Because you can barely see those things. Wait, 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 wait. Back up. Is there another one? There is! It's not safe. We are not building camp here. I thought we were going to because <laughs> because water source. Alright, let's harvest them. I don't know what the rattlers will be for. <gasps> we got a disease! That's gonna be the flu. So we stage two. We are Take medicine. We need the hibiscus petals. Keep warm near the fire. Need max food and water. Alright, we need to get out of the rain, dude. We need to not be in the rain. Let's harvest this, though. <laughs> Insufficient tool durability. Alright, look. We need to destroy you. We need to build another one. Craft one. Dude, we're running out of daylight already. I don't even know if we need these for stuff. Oh, we got some clay! Oh, fantastic! That's the other thing we were needing. So, clean water. Drink it. And we're full! Nice, dude, nice! Alright, let's eat something. And that'll get... Wait, that's not... That's not cooked. That's cooked. 
that should help out with our disease. So I don't know if that kind of fills back over time. It should, though, right? You would think with the rain. What is this? Nettle. We don't want to mess with that. We do want the clay. Ah, uh, dude, that is awesome. So we got the charcoal. Let's go ahead and map this out. So we know how to get back here. We might set up camp. There's a lot of nettle and stuff around. I don't like that. Are we kind of covered here? Or not? We're still in the rain, I think. Ah, oh, dude, we need to find an overhang. We are so overweight. How bad are we? Barely. Let's drop... I don't really want to drop any of it. Let's do some mapping. I need to find somewhere to hide that's under an overhang. And we'll do a little bit of mapping. And set up a fire. Alright, this isn't going to work. It's not going to work at all, dude. We know where the water's at. The only thing is it takes like two days to get up here. But we did get some clay, so we can make a clay pot and stuff. Let's head up here. Check this out, then if anything, we'll draw our map and start heading back down the mountain because we're going to be in very bad shape here very, very fast, especially being exposed like this. All right, map drawing in the rain. 550. Oh, dude, fantastic, man. Massive area unlocked. Oh, dude, that goes almost back to our other base. Alright, let's head down. There's some stuff there, too. Special objects. Okay, we'll look at this later. Let's start heading back down. Oh, it's, it's gone. Nice! Actually kind of see stuff, too. So, is there anywhere... ...that's covered? I don't see it. Alright, give me a minute. I'm gonna look around. See if I can find a little covered area. If so, we'll build up here a temporary shelter. And if not, we'll just head back down the, uh, the mountain. So this is a nice place to build a little campsite at. We're still up the mountain, but halfway down, it splits off one direction. I saw on the map. Right here. This is the way we came up with all of the little Perlovias and the, the bird's nest and stuff. If you take a right here, which we did, it comes down here. It's a nice little flat area. So whenever we start building our place, we might build over here because it's kind of close to water. And there's still a path that goes all the way down to the beach. Now, one of the things that I think we can do with the clay is build a clay pot and distill water. I think. I'm not too sure. There's one of the campfires that uses the clay pot and stuff, so we might be able to do that. I just decided to come down here. I couldn't find a place that had a good overhang, and it's a little bit safer to go to our cave because, I mean, we are sick, man. We got a tier 2 cold. <laughs> it's not a good thing at all, and it's still, it looks like it's kind of evening, but it's just cloudy. We got a little bit of time. We should be able to make it there before night. Now, I did go ahead and check the water because I did some searching up there for an overhang. And it did refill. So, it refills pretty quick, actually. So, it's not too bad. That is a permanent water source. Now, I don't know if the clay respawns and has a respawn time like everything else. That'd be kind of cool because a lot of stuff that I saw does need clay. So, it's kind of a, uh, kind of a thing. But, all right. I will see you back at the cave. We'll try to get rid of this cold before we go. It's, uh, it's kind of the goal, man. I guess we will have to wait for the rope for later on. I did drop some stuff, too. I got rid of the bamboo. Nothing that we can do right now requires bamboo. We need other resources first. Bamboo's super easy to get, and it's super heavy. Ah, uh, dude, I've never been so happy to see home. We are in very bad shape. We have the Tier 2 cold. However, here's something that happened along the way. Our strength went up, and I noticed it went up by quite a few points for our carry weight, too. So that's kind of cool. At least it kind of correlates with some of your stats, right? Now our stuff is getting kind of beat up. We do need to figure out how to repair it here soon. Everything, including our spear too. First things first, we need to get ourselves sorted out. So, we have the flu. We got wind chill. We need to start a fire. Let's do that. It's going to help out with the flu as well. I did pick up some sticks along the way. That'll be six hours. Let's go ahead and just do that. Nice, dude. Nice. All right. A little bit of warmth. That should help out with the cold. And then what do we need for this? We need some of the hibiscus. We don't have any of the hibiscus that we found. Stay near the fire. Eat, drink, and sleep. Okay, not a bad, not a bad thing. Let's move our bed closer. Now it's going to have pests in here too, I think, right? Yeah, we got to worry about that. Maybe the fire will kind of keep them away. And let's see about some sticks in here. We should have some more. And let's store some stuff. We've got near leaves. We've got the tendons we can't use. The feathers we can't do anything with either at the moment. This. What is this for? 
Or we can eat it. It's a food. It gives you water and food. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Our water's good now. Wait, no, it's not. Let's eat one. There we go. The guy kind of filled up on that. We've got some clay. I want to see what we have for this. So. We've got a charcoal pile. What does that do? A device for coal production. Okay, we don't need that at the moment. We do need clay strips. And a clay brick. Use pottery workbench. Ah, dude, we can't even use it yet. So here's the thing, dude. Let me show you. Before we go. Inventory. Crafting. Clear. Down under machines. We got all the stuff here. So for the pottery one, we're going to need the log. Not a big deal. And the half log. However, for this, we kind of need to start at the beginning. That's going to be the workbench. For the workbench, we have the, the long sticks. Not a problem. That's the rope we have to get. That's kind of holding us up from everything. And then the small sticks. And that'll allow us to make these. Which, again, we just need the rope. We can process the bigger logs. We've got the dryer. Again, we need the rope. The pottery, we need the logs, which are going to be done with these. So, it's kind of a whole progression thing. I was hoping to find those today. However, that's not the case. Let's store... the clay for later. Container is full. Okay. Not really a problem. Let's go ahead and take some of these sticks. We're going to put them on the fire. We're going to use quite a few of them. I want to keep this going while we're sleeping. Where is the add fuel? Fire. That'll be for 10 hours. So we're good there. And then, how is our actual food situation and stuff? We got these we can cook. We've got water. Let's do that. Because that's mainly for hydration. We'll eat that in the morning. Let's uh, cook both of these guys up. I almost extinguished it. And then what is this? Oh, eggs! We got some eggs! 16 food and 3 water. Now we got a bunch of those. Let's go ahead and cook them too. And that should be everything that we got. That's a hibiscus. We gotta find some of that. Don't we have something though that's good for healing everything? That's for burns. That's indigestion. All types of wounds. That's not for being cold, though. Here's one to two disease degrees. I don't think that's for what we have, though, right? Because ours is the flu. We don't have a sweating potion. Let's just try this. Let's try this. We've got natural recovery going on. We are by the fire. We're going to eat some food. We're going to sleep. And we're going to see how we are in the morning. Alright, so we got all full food. And full water. As, as full as we can get, kind of, right? It's nighttime, too. All we need is sleep. Let's sleep. Sleep a good eight hours. Oh, it became redder, better. We're down to a runny nose from the flu. Nice, man. Nice. Alright, let's do this. Let's try to get the fire going again. We got no fuel. Is it raining? If it's not raining, let's grab some sticks. I want to try to stay inside today. I want to get this, uh, this flu gone. Dude, I did not know that we would get so sick from being outside in the rain. I mean, <laughs> you know, it kind of happens, but none of these have actual sticks. We need to go all the way over here to get sticks, I think. I got quite a few sticks. I went ahead and tore up quite a bit of the wreckage. And got enough. Oh, we got throwing level three. Nice. And we've got quite a few sticks, so that'll allow us to keep the campfire going all one more night, and a little bit of crab for lunch. So, what I plan on doing, we'll get back over here to the cave, we'll cook up our food, we'll reassess the situation, see if we can repair some of our gear, and then we'll sleep one more night, fully through with the fire burning. Now, I'm not sure if that keeps these scorpions away, I think so, because we didn't have any attacks last night, and it should help us heal up some more. Hopefully, if we can get rid of this cold, next video... We're going to go all the way over here again, over to the wooded area, and look for some of the the rope stuff, right? It's kind of one thing we need for progression. We got the clay, we just need rope. There's so much stuff that uses rope. Let's grab a couple more crabs just so that we're for sure have food. We are getting kind of low on the durability for our spear. Oh, we did a break? It finally broke. 
Alright, destroy that. I found out you can't just drop stuff, you gotta destroy it. I found our old axe. <laughs> I was gonna repair it, but we don't have a stick with us, or a, uh, a stone. I think we have one back in the cave. So can we make another one of the spears? That's kind of one of the main things we use, you know? Ooh, we can't. We don't have any long sticks. Maybe there's some in our storage. If not, we have to wait till we go all the way over there. Kind of sucks because we don't have any protection until then. Seems how we got so many of these sticks. I want to go ahead and make another storage as well. Just so we can store some more of our stuff, right? We're kind of collecting quite a bit, which is a good thing. We're going to be using it all here very, very soon anyways. Wish we could do one of those, but it uses the bigger sticks. Now keep everything together. And then let's go ahead and just build it. Half an hour. Do we have any big sticks in here? We don't. Oh, we do! We got two! Okay, we just need one, I think, for the spear. Yep, just one. Nice, dude. Oh, I feel a lot better. We've only got one big stick left, so we gotta watch out for that for sure. Alright. We've got a charcoal, we got some food still cooked. Our weight's actually pretty good. Let's store... Wait, do we have a... A stone I was gonna look at. We do, we got just one. We need to pick up some more of those. Because our iron axe is kind of running low on durability. So I definitely don't want to lose that. Let's leave all the worms. Got the fried eggs. A lot of those we're going to use. We'll leave that for now. We'll leave that. The clay too. It's kind of it. Everything else we need to kind of keep on us. What weighs so much, man? Something weighs a lot. We're down to 22 though. Alright. Let's eat some food. We're going to start the fire and we're going to nap. I almost ate that. Let's eat some of the eggs. That's good food, man. 16 on the food? I dropped it. Look. Okay. Accidents happen. I'm sick, dude. I'm sick. <laughs> Let's try to start this. We've been doing pretty good on starting this the first time. So I noticed that does go up. I'm guessing with making these, it, uh, it increases your ignition chance, I think. Let's add some fuel. Yep, I'm talking about how good we're doing, and it doesn't work. Oh, we don't have any tinder. Do we have any of the good stuff? We don't. Any time now? There we go. Alright, so, we need to keep this burning. <laughs> Let's go ahead. We can upgrade it. Oh, that's right. That's just first. So, here's the thing we want to make. It boils food and makes strong medicines. The main thing we need is the fired pots. Oh, it cannot be used for storing liquids. Can be crafted from raw clay pots. That's kind of what we're, we're aiming for. So, add some fuel. We got 14 hours here. I'll tell you what, let's just go ahead and add quite a bit. What time of day is it? It's almost night. Perfect. Fantastic. All right, so let's sleep. 10 hours. Hopefully, it'll get rid of all of our stuff and we'll be good to go. Are we healed? Oh, fantastic! We are healed, man! Nice, dude, nice! All we need is a little bit of food. Let's eat what's going bad first. Probably just the... Well, the eggs last a long time. We'll eat that. Let's get our water up. We're almost full. We can eat the rest of this. 100%. Look at that, dude! 100%! Ah, uh, dude! Well, not too bad of a day. Started off good. Ended up kind of sketchy. <laughs> Ended fantastic. We found a water source. Not a bad deal. We still got to figure out what is back here. But we want to go out and try to get some of the rope in the next video. Start making some stuff. We might end up staying here. I don't know. It depends on how hard it is for us to get water down here. It's kind of a good big large area for us to build our equipment and workbenches all in here. If we can have a water source. That is the thing. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like our exploration today, man. I am having a lot of fun in this game with the different mechanics, trying to juggle the food, the resources, the health, and all that stuff. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.